Hello and welcome to SBSS class 2. Now we're starting from part S1 here and this time the data is already in SBSS format, this India school fees.sav. So if we go to SPSS, we can open it using the normal file opening symbol here. And we for India school fees.sav. It's a bit slow on this computer. There it is. A working copy as well, that's the original one though. So download that and open it. And have a look at the data in data view and variable view. Is yes. okay, it's the window bit so you can see it properly. Just resized it a bit. Hopefully you can see that now. So in data view you can see you've got these three variables, you've got the states and the region in India that that state is found in, and then the fee level, and this is fees paid by individual students in rupees per month. You can see there's quite a lot of variation. So quite a lot of data, it's not hundreds, I'm not sure how many, 2,000, 3,000, yeah, thousands and thousands of children from across India, and this is the six to 14 year old fees. So enormous variation there, you can see someone's paying 515 a month, in other schools someone's paying 2,800 a month. A big variation. Variable view, you can see the three variables laid out there. State and region are string variables, fee is numeric variable. They've also got some uh, labels to say what's, give you more detail on what's in the data. So when you hover over the top here, those should appear. Oops, oops. Like that. If you can see that on the, the capture, that the details on the variable appear, and the details that appear are the details in these labels here. Um, and there are two nominals and one scale variable. So that gives you an idea of the data if we're looking at those two windows. Um, okay, so first question is how many students are included in the sample? Okay, we're supposed to know that. So, is the age range the same as in Kingdom Table 2? Yes, it is, because Kingdom Table 2 is saying that we've got 6 to 14 year olds, and that's the same as the data in this file. How many students are included in the sample? And of course, we can. Yeah, it says 6 to 14 age there to confirm that. And how many students are there? Well, ready to find that out. You go all the way down to here, and that's 25, 9, exactly 9,000. So 9,000 students. It's a fairly large data set. Okay, so as before, we've got two string variables and we need to recode those um, so that instead of being stored as strings, they're stored as numbers with labels. So we're going to use that, um, do recode to do that. So I'll just do S2 and then go on to the next part in the next video. So it comes here, it's uh, the transform thing and automatic recode like that. You can save some time by, by doing both at the same time, put them both in that like that. And we need to give a new name. So the first one we can call, oops, I've forgotten a step. Before I do that, I want to just, because what I'm going to do, I want to, I want to still use the name state and region. I've just got to rename these as something else. You could you could rename them as anything at all, but just something like that. I just reminded that these are now the string versions. Now I can do the um, automatic recode. Oops, no, not one of those two. It's there. So state, I'm going to recode that as state. So it's now free that variable. And the other one I'm going to call region. Oh, that wasn't very good. Too twiddly. This one's region. Okay, so state state stream becomes state, region stream becomes region. I should always massively do that. Let's get there. Two new variables. That's the results window popping up and saying it's done. Actually, it's worth looking at the results window because it tells you that Andhra Pradesh has been changed to number one, and then this is the label. So now these 
these words are now stored as these numbers, but they're labelled with the words, and same with the regions. So if we go into the data view here, you can see that it looks just the same, but whereas this is actually called stored as Telegram, this is stored as Southern as text, now it's stored over here as just numbers, which is much more efficient and it's easier to analyze, stored text, less storage space, and so on, as many of us just took. So now we've done that, we can now ditch these two. So the final stage of this is to select those two and just clear that, so don't want those variables anymore. And just to keep it looking neat, I'm gonna move that down to there. So it's back in the same region, so back in the same order it originally was. So after all that work, it pretty much looks the same as it was, but by pressing this, we can confirm that those are now stored as numbers, coded numbers. And for just a few variables like this, not so important, but when you're getting into analysis later on with lots of variables and things, it makes sense to do this early on with all your variables to avoid mistakes. Okay, well, in the next part, we'll go on to this analysis, but for now, thanks for watching.